Uh-huh. That old mass is fermenting now, or you're going to call it hog slop. In Missouri, we like to make it this way here. But anyhow, you see that thing bubbling. You know. Ooh, that stuff is working real good. In this video, I'm going to show you what it looks like uh, after about 16 hours of mixing together. Getting that sugar turned into a slurry. Getting that corn mashed in together in a six gallon pot. Now the temperature is going to rise up there a little bit. Not a whole lot, but it'll rise up because of that reaction inside there. It's like a little mini nuclear reactor, right? No. But you see, all them gases coming out of there. And I bet you itching and wondering what's it going to look like on the inside, right? Well, let's open it up and let's show you. Taking these latches off here one at a time. See, I, I broke the seal by taking that one latch loose. So you gotta have a good seal if you want your bubbler to work. Ready? I bet you are. Okay, let's go. Ooh, look at that, would you? Just look at that. Mm, and you know what? It smells like a bottle of beer. If you take some of that out there, screen it out and drink it, it sure tastes like a bottle of beer. Now this is, uh, I don't know, 12, 14 hours afterwards. Started on it yesterday. And that's where we're at today. Now it's really hard to see those little bitty bubbles in there. Because they're so small right now. Now give it tomorrow or the following day and I'll shoot you some more videos of that. You're going to see big bubbles popping up in that thing. I'm trying to get you where you see some small ones. Well, camera cut off. I don't know what happened. 